call loyal bashim yawashai bashim rakakadash that is all praises to the heavenly father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit i want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who taught us his truth and will well and blessings and salutations to the hopeful like aki of most high will and it's edifying to the body i want to get into this precept lineup that expresses the duration of the rule of Esau Edom and how quickly we are to our salvation, how quickly we are to the most high establishment of his kingdom that is going to be achieved through the destruction of this current establishment. Okay. The scriptures told us that um, it was it would only be uh, a short time that this man will be in rulership it is encouragement for the body that we indeed can't even fathom how close we are okay all the men of Yahal Bashim Yahushai yearned for this time alright and we have arrived to the, to the last of the last days which is evident and is obvious it's, it's, uh, through, through current events in accordance with the biblical prophetic timeline. Okay? This is in Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. So the crafty, which is the elites of Esau, Edom, which are come from the tribe of Amalek. All right. They're also known as the secret council of the workers of iniquity, the so-called Illuminati. All right. They form a clandestine organization that pulls the strings of all pulls the strings in rulership of all the sectors, all sectors and industries of society. Okay. Turn. Fucking Shatan Salakia. And the Most High's intention is to is to destroy his council, man. He's going to disappoint this man, man. Okay? Okay. So lock you, man. You see how they see, you see what goes down? Man. Fucking Satan. Okay. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, which is heavy because it, he calls by name, he reserves the term enterprise for his so called New World Order. Okay. The, the word. The, the the phrase um, e pluribus unum I believe that's the, the phrase means our enterprise is successful He favors our undertakings. He or she approves of the undertakings. Okay. So they're pretty much saying, you know who the he is. They're saying that the Most High is 
is behind what they're doing. And it could be farther from the truth. But that's their whole uh, purposes. That's their whole um, MO of, of why they're doing this shit, man. Okay? They're doing the, this shit because they're, they're claiming to have the most high back in them. But the brother coined it, um, explained it perfectly that in their, um, their so-called Novos Ordo Seclorum, their new world order, um, they, they have, they already deemed it a success before they even implemented the shit, okay? And before they even achieved it, because listen, it's not even, it hasn't even been, uh, fully brought brought it into fruition and they're sitting over there calling it a success they're saying our enterprise is successful all right and it, and it, in the scripture it says verbatim enterprise Job 5 and 12 Job 5 and 12, the word enterprise, okay, abiding success of the effect of sound wisdom, okay, so uh, enterprise, that which, that which is an undertaking, right? In purpose and undertaking, that's right. So what he has set forth to do. His plans and shit. His agendas. Alright. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. That's the point. So the counsel of Esau Edom. And there's no more a forward man than this than uh this 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 creature Esau Edom. There's no more of a vile, profane man and a fornicator than Esau Edom. Because forward goes into uh being reprobate. Let's get this in the etymology. Forward in the etymology means turned against, perverse, disobedient, peevish, petulant, adverse, difficult, okay? Doomed to die down here in the um, Latin for pervertus, which is another translation for forward. Okay, doomed to die. And what does the scriptures speak about Esau Edom? That is, mine. That, that is uh, separate from any other nation on the planet. That he was the only line that was not granted mercy from the Heavenly Father. Okay, so his counsel, the, the counsel. Uh, the counsel of the froward is carried headlong. This word headlong, mahar, mawahar, salakia. Not sure if that's the exact pronunciation of the Paleo Hebrew of this word, okay? But it means to hasten, to be hurried, to be anxious, hasty, precipitate, impetuous, to hasten, to make haste. And we know what happens when you rush things. We know what happens when you make haste. This is a term that's right out of the scriptures that we're going to get in Proverbs. It says that haste makes waste. 
But when you try to rush shit, you're gonna fuck up. And that's what is the case for his agenda, his so-called NWO. That he's he's running out of time, and now he's required to to rush it. Okay, and he has been so since he got the shit started, since he even went down to the to the table to draw up these plans, man. Slow down, you're you're moving too fast. Is in reference to that you're gonna you're 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 you're, you're gonna punch your ticket, man. You're gonna get yourself fucked up. It says uh, to hurry. Okay. To be hurry, carried headlong, fearful, haste, hasty, quickly, to be rash. Okay. When you do things that are are rash, it's unprepared. Okay. It's un uh. It's incomplete. That's the case for this man with his agendas. He's trying to roll him out and rush him along because his his time is running out, man. It's so Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. That's right. You saw Edom is going to cross over into the next phase of his agenda, which is the attempt attempted destruction of the nation of Israel. He's going to rush into that phase because he knows that that his um, time elapsed <clears throat> is about to be drained. So he's going to roll out these these fucking uh, these mass killing campaigns of Jake. All right. But we know that that's going to be sloppy as well, because when you once again, when you when you do shit, you have to rush it. It's sloppy, man. This is Revelation 20 and 3. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. This is in reference to the so-called white man. After his reign during the uh, Greco-Roman Empire, how their people, the so-called Caucasians, were driven out of Rome, okay? And were driven into the Caucasus Mountains, where they dwelled for a thousand years, which is the period of the so-called Dark Ages, the so-called Byzantine era, Middle Ages, for a roughly thousand years, give or take, and and then he uh, was loose during the time of the Renaissance era. All right, so called his rebirth, hence him coming back into power, him coming out of the caves, of which he did. All right, but right here it's telling you that it, it is going to be a little season shedding light on the duration of this man's rule and if we, it's a little season and we're in that time how much longer does, does this place have okay and that's why you see how how everything's breaking how everything's collapsing and fucking is on a um a decline all right the world economies the morality infrastructure even the earth is languishing and uh, fading away why okay because the rule of the devil of the earth on the earth is not going to be for for a long time all right it tells you no flesh would be saved if the, the most high didn't intervene okay and uh, if it wasn't for the elect's sake, to shed light also as well how 
how uh, short we have. Because if it was any longer, there would be no flesh left. So we're indeed at the, uh, uh, right there, the doorstep, man. Proverbs 19 and 2, also, that the soul be without knowledge, it, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. And the other translation for this, it talks about uh, um, it, he, he that hasteth or that rusheth or that, um, that, uh, that pretty much um, speeds it up to your detriment, you're going you're gonna, to uh, slip. It says uh, he slippeth in the other translations, okay? So you're gonna you're gonna fall, man. Right? You're gonna stumble and and um, your shit's gonna implode on itself. In Job twenty and five, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Okay, so the, his triumphing because uh, th th it specifically goes into a victory in battle. So this triumph that this nigga experienced at our downfall is is uh, for a short amount of time. How many hundred years ago did he colonize the world and enslave and uh, and and slaughter the the uh, the Israelites during the time of the transatlantic slave trade and colonization? Okay, it's been a, a cool cool minute few hundred years so if it's if that's going to be a short time and for a moment how much longer really do we have man which shows you that we're in a time where the thief uh can come in the night in any moment that's how critical of times and close we are is that this thing can fucking crack off at any second this nigga can implement the implantable fucking fucking uh uh January 23. Okay? That's how fucking close we are. To finish it off in Romans 13 and 11. And that, knowing the time, and now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. So, all these scriptures they reveal the duration of Esau Edom's regime and power structure. Okay, and that is going to be rushed. It's going to be uh, um, put, uh, you know, uh, fucking uh, piecemealed and, and MacGyvered. You know what I'm saying? You don't ever want to piecemeal and MacGyver any fucking thing, let alone um, a, um, your your so-called New World Order. Okay. Because that you, you're you're laying he's laying a fucking foundation, or what he thinks is. When you lay a foundation, it can't be um, on sand, so to speak. It can't be weak. So when if he's making, setting setting it up like that, in a rush rushed hasty sense. How fucking um, how weak and frail and fragile is is the. Um, the whole entire structure metaphorically of his of his uh his his new world order okay the whole thing is going to be fucking weak all right and that's why it talks about how um when he's in the fullness of his sufficiency the most high is gonna is going to uh pretty much thwart his plans okay and even in that, even in how how uh, this thing is gonna is gonna go down, it's even it's even nearer than that, huh? It's even closer than we can uh, deduce and and our minds can fathom, based off of time and duration, that uh, the proximity of you know of of uh. uh certain certain um aspects of time we have no fucking idea of, of um of like a compass so, so to speak if you will for the grand scheme of of time of how close we truly are man so to show you and like it said it's, it's 
the high time to wake out of sleep. More now than any to keep our head buried in these scriptures, man. To keep our eyes single. To how Bashim Yahushai, man. The finish line. Okay? We brothers say we're in the home stretch. And it's time to go hard. It's been time, but hey, even harder. Okay? It says to, to, uh, to go all out, for we could never do enough, man. Okay? Time to go full speed, like the Apostle Elder Arimlov go, go went into. Um, hyper hyperdrive for this truth, man. All right. So with that, all praise.